But if you close your eyes Hello us people, welcome back to Airport CEO episode number 2 of season 4 Sometimes I still can't believe how many episodes we've already done on this game It's an amazing game, I'm gonna do a lot more, don't you guys worry uh, but today what we're going to do, we're going to first of all finish the bathrooms because that was the end of last episode. I said we're going to do that this episode. We're going to finish them uh, pretty soon. Uh, and the other thing we're going to do is we're going to start working towards the start of our airport basically. And what I want to do is I already explained in the last episode what the sort of the build is going to be like. Uh, some people like it. Some people are, you know, a bit, bit, yeah, they don't know yet. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to build it and if it doesn't fit or if it doesn't look right then we're just gonna change it I mean there's no harm in changing stuff around uh, and that being said what I'm gonna do is the start of this airport will actually be that we put down some small um, small stands and with that being said you know we will start with small air airplanes and we will probably change them around at some point so for now we're probably gonna do some stands alongside here we're gonna make a runway and some taxiway and at that point, once, once we're making money and we actually are able to expand, we're going to do the expansion probably on the other side to start with. So we can see how it looks. And then we're going to change all, all of this up around. But for now, we're just going to make a starting airport. Uh, so yeah, basically that's it. We're going to push play. And the other thing I'm going to do is F10. And we're going to... Where is it? Where is it? Construction. We're going to simulate construction. We're going to put it off. Uh, just because otherwise we will be just sitting here watching the entire episode. Um, what these guys are been doing. Uh, if, if we're gonna just take a look at construction, well, we can do that, but it, that's just boring, you know, basically. Uh, I will bring, bring back real life, uh, real life construction, real time construction, uh, once we have the starting airport, of course. Uh, but for now, we need to have a little bit of a higher tempo to actually do something. So I'm gonna start with the bathrooms, of course, uh, what I said. So the upper ones are gonna be the male bathrooms and the lower ones are gonna be the female bathrooms. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to place some bathrooms in here, and then some sinks over here, and then some hand dryers over here, and that's going to be it. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, because this is also a women's bathroom. And this is not entirely symmetrical, but that's fine. I mean, let's do that. Now, man's bathroom. Let's do one, two, three. And let's do urinals, let's do sinks, and let's do hand dryers. Awesome. Let's do hand dryers, let's do, where's it, sinks. Let's do urinals, two, and let's do the toilets. Awesome, so we can all open these up right now. Open, open open and open so four bathrooms the, other, the only thing i really want to do right now is i'm not going to do much flooring for now uh basically we're going to build the airport first and then do the flooring um but the bathrooms i can't leave them just you know concrete we, we need some tiles in there so that, that those are going to be the bathrooms now next stop probably security where do we want to have security uh we could make a little hallway wait i can draw this out if i do this we could make a little hall. Whoops! We could make a little hallway like this, and then have a, a, a door somewhere to push you into security, or just have security along this line. Uh, I think that that is going to be a good option. So do this. So we have the little hallway with check-in desk. We could, you know, fit some some things in like screens and uh, trash cans, plants. We can fit it. Fit some stuff in here to make it a little bit prettier. Um, probably going to move the door then. Um, so that's it's a bit more symmetrical and of course we're gonna have security stands over here up and running along the wall so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave a spot for a security stand because we don't we, we really don't only we need one right now for the for the, for the idea I have um, yeah I need to okay, let's get rid of this and let's redraw this so basically I want I want a door in the middle a big door in the middle that's gonna be here uh, and then we connect this up, and then we connect this up. That looks better. Looks a bit out of sync with the rest of the, the sort of the the alleyway here, but you know it's fine. So we're gonna use this uh, hallway as a sort of an information hallway where you can see screens, where you can have plans. 
Probably that's just going to be it. And then we have the security station over here. So let's go into security. Security. Let's go for a large one. Medium quality. Oh yeah, we have to set the security zone. So the secure zone is over here. This is going to be the secure zone. And everything that's behind that. Um, so security checkpoints. Whoops. We need to have this one. Can we... Must be must be connected to open zone. Ah, so we, okay, we need to do this. Okay, that wasn't so tight uh, the last time I played, but we can do this. Awesome. So we have a security zone. Um, it is, however, the line is sort of blocking the way a little bit here. Hmm, that's an issue. Okay, we're gonna move this around. Uh, so delete. Sorry. just delete a few and we will see how far we will go up so at least let's say let's say two at least let's do the secure zone do this and do this and we will start placing some uh, security zones so basically they will be like this um let's start with two now we're now we're building we can put the wall back in here and uh, one of them will just be deactivated so you are going to be closed you are going to be in, and we're going to have a smaller one. So we're going to delete uh, this over here, and that's going to be the uh, the entrance for the uh, for the staff, basically. Where is it? Uh, security. The smaller one. Come on. That's really annoying. That's the wrong one, and there we go. So that's going to be the staff entrance, basically. Uh, and then we also have the exits. Now, this, the exits we could actually put them closer to the uh, to the actual exits. So we could probably do them over here uh, if we delete one of these walls. I think the exit is four wide. I'm not sure. Is it four or three? It's four. Okay. And we need to secure this area. So we have an exit over here. And if it's get if it's getting really busy, we can actually add another exit in there if we want to. But for now, this is fine. We can always change it around. Like I said, I, I don't really worry about this type, of, these type of things. I just build, and we can always change it around if we need to. Now, this is what we have. Let's uh, set up the path. So basically, you are only for employees. Uh, can we build? Yeah, fine. I was looking for that. Build a queue. Let's just build a queue like that. That's fine. That's good. So you are not for employees, uh, and you're gonna build a queue like. The normal cues I use, and just keep it like that. that that's that's big enough for now. Uh, the other one, we're not gonna open it up right now, but we're gonna make it so that we can actually open it up if we want to, as soon as we want to, and it, and all these things will be Gucci to go. So I have that. So as soon as we open it now, it will be set to passengers only. It has a line. It's all great. Uh, so that, that's a thing we need to do now. We have an email. Spam, probably. No, the small airfield tutorial. Okay, well, we don't need that. We're building our own airport. Um, so this is going to be sort of the mirror in the other on the other side. We're going to change it up as soon as we get there, as soon as we have the money to actually start doing that. But as you can see, we're now losing money, so we definitely need to get some flights in. We also have to hire the personnel to get those flights in, so we, we're not there yet. We have some, uh, some stuff to do. Now, to actually get the flights in, we need to have, of course, some... Uh, some stands. So let's start with the stands. Let's start with small size stands. Let's just start with grass. I mean, we don't care. We, this is all going to change, so it, it doesn't look to ha uh, it doesn't have to look pretty. Um, so we're going to start with one over. Let's let's do this. One, two, three, four. Is there an opening now? People should be able to get there, right? Doesn't seem like there's an opening. To go full speed, does it, it doesn't appear. Okay, so we basically need to make an opening here. So we basically need a door. Okay, but well we can do that. Let's have a small door. Well, actually, let's have a lar larger door. Why not? Uh, I put it right in the middle here, right in the middle here, right in the middle here, and right in the middle here. That should work out, I guess. Don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's a long time since I've used small, small uh, aircraft stands for the um, the actual airport. 
for commercial flights. Now, runway. Where are you going to put the runway? Uh, for now it doesn't really matter, but I want to use this runway in the future. So basically, I want to put it somewhere where, where it's definitely going to be used. The thing is, we want to make it big enough for medium flights. So, you know what, let's start over here. We can uh, uh, expand it to the north if we want to. Let's see how this new thing works. So we now have a runway. We now have a runway. Let's uh, say small uh, operational mode. Sure, for both uh, runway upgrades we want. General aviation, no. We only want the uh, commercial flights for now. On this one at least. Uh, let's upgrade it to asphalt. Just so it looks a little bit nicer. And now we need some exits. Now this is the first time I'm going to use this. So I don't really know how this works. But we're going to see. Uh, let's do medium quality. Let's let's see how this looks. Does it snap or or what? Ah, oh, it actually sort of kind of snaps. Okay, we're gonna do this. I like the sideways ones. That's cool. Um, can we do it the other way around? Where it goes up? No, maybe maybe we do have some. This one? That one goes up. Well, it's not connected. Ah, now it's connected. So, let's do this. Actually, no. I know, I can't make up my mind. I'm very sorry, guys. Like this, and then... Like that. Yeah, that's the same as that one. Awesome! So, we have this. Now, we're gonna put in the normal runway. Uh, the normal taxiway foundation. Uh, this is a stand. Can you please get... Yeah. Uh, so let's do five. Like the normal size. Let's connect these up. And... Let's then do... Whoops. That was a misclick. This is probably going to be used. That's why I'm doing this in asphalt. Let's do this. And... Uh, Let's, let's connect another one. We don't need five wide for smaller airplanes, but I like the way it looks, so we're gonna keep it that way. Um, this looks okay to me, for now. We need some more exits, probably, because it's small airplanes, they might not need the entire runway. So, for now, what we're gonna do is... We're gonna put in another one, like, right here. And... Another one, like, right here. That should be good. That should be totally fine. We, we can even do a... Uh, well, let's actually check them all out. Let's see how this works. This could actually be a thing too. So we could do one in the middle. That looks cool. That looks fine. Uh, we're going to open this up, of course. Uh, we need to open these up, but we first have to do our taxiway foundation, or our taxiway nodes, sorry. So we're just going to do this, and we're going to do this, and we're going to connect them up here, we're going to connect them up here, we're going to connect them up here, uh, we're going to connect them up here, and up here, of course. And we're going to do this, and this, and of course we're going to connect all the stands. Whoops. And that's it. That should work out just fine. Amazing. Now, you commercial only. Oh yeah, we need to we need to have a boarding desk, of course. So desks, desk, desks. How long are we running this video? Oh, we still have time. We have lots of time. Uh, so we need the desk, the boarding desks. So we need four of these. I, I don't like the way that this doesn't fit a door. That that's annoying to me. Uh, but you know, it's fine. Let let's do them on the out on the outskirts of the door like this. That looks cool. Now some some normal seating, just some really easy stuff. We're not gonna do much with it. Uh, basically, we're just gonna do this, and that should do it. This is all gonna be changed later. So, but I I want the passengers to at least have a seat. And of course, I want my uh, my guys to uh, at some point get to shops and their restaurants and everything. 
So now we should be able to open this. Yep. So we can open up these uh, now, which is very good. Small sun is not activated and will not be operating. Okay, yeah, we can open these up right now. Now, the thing we need now is staff. So we need to hire some guys before we actually get into things. So let's do staff. Where is it? Uh, applicants. Let's see the applicants. Filter by all. No, let's go airport staff. Let's hire all of the airport staff because we'll, we, we will need them at some point. Executives. Uh, we will get to that later. Janitors. Uh, you are a decent one. Let's hire you. Uh, you are very good at logic. You know what? You're going to be hired. We're going to have two. Uh, okay, filter by ramp agents. We're going to have you and uh, you. Sure. It's going to be fine. I think we only need two for now. Security, one, two, three, four. We actually need them all, so five. Service technicians. Oh, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. Let's hire you two, that should be sufficient for now, and executives. So who do we want to hire? I actually want to hire a HR director and a procurement director. So let's hire you, and let's hire you. Uh, let's actually, can we now look at our board? This actually changed, pretty, pretty cool. Um, so the HR director, procurement director, Unlocks advance. Oh, maybe I uh, we need this. Oh, maybe I didn't need the HR director. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Operations? No. Economy. Procurements. I want. Yeah, procurements. That is what I want. So, what I want to have is the shops and food franchises. We need a strategy director for that. Oh, okay. So staff, strategy director. Uh, applicants filter by executives. Strategy director. So we have to let's hire you. You're the better one. Awesome. So we have a strategy director. That means that we can actually start researching. I should probably do that right away. Food franchises and the shop upgrade. We should definitely start doing that. Now the other thing we need is uh, probably one server service car. You do not have the requirements. We need a oh we need a road check. Well, of course, yeah, we will bring that in later. For now, we're just going to start up the airport. That's the goal of this episode, start up the airport so we can actually have some flights in uh, in the next episode. So, basically, we will now fast forward because I hope my staff will actually come in. And I hope that there will be no bugs because people have been saying that there are some bugs with the pathing, um, which might, you know, bring some issues. Is that our first batch of employees? Yep, that is. So, do that. We now have to open up our airport. Uh, operations. Airport is closed. Airport is open. Security is enabled. Uh, we will allow gen general aviation. We don't have a stand for them, but we will allow them if they have if they want to. We do a ramp service service round, and that's all. Gucci. Basically, that that's it. So, people are coming in. Let's see if this is going to pose for any problems. They're actually manning the security station. So this is this all seems to be going well. Okay, so we actually can have some contracts now. So let's go into the economy, I think it was. Contracts? Offered contracts, yeah. So I probably should grab a building contract for now. Um, because I haven't got one because I've been building like without simulation. So let's actually go for the Weidekesferge, just because I like the uh, I like the name. And I like to use the, uh, the ones from the mods. So let's do that, uh, except the contracts we have now. This one. I hope that we can actually set up. We should get some contracts up and running right now. Hopefully, to uh, filter by all, let's actually go for airlines. There are no airlines yet. Oh, I know why. I know why. I almost missed it. Almost missed it. Where is it? We need the ATC tower, of course. We're going to make a large size straight up the bat. Um, we're going to place that ATC tower. You know what? We're going to place it right here in the middle. Why not? And now the contract should be coming in at some point. Uh, so we're going to see that. We're going to see that happening soon enough. We are open for business. That was the entire goal of this episode. We have a very straightforward, easy way of doing this. Um, but... You know, it should be good. It should be fine enough. We should be making some money soon enough. And then we can start making some more money to actually start working on 
everything that we want. Why do we don't get don't we get some airlines? Am I still missing something? Maybe we've got some new notifications. No, we don't. Am I still missing something? Ah, no, we get we get some. Okay, so airlines, airlines, filter by airlines. Loganair, Loganair is one of the mod one, modded ones, I think. Maple is the one we already know, has been in the game for a long time. So Loganair, Scotland's airline, British regional carrier. Please review the contract. The following is a contract you will allow Loganair. You know what? We're gonna sign you. Uh, we're not gonna sign Skylink. I don't want the. Uh, I want to use the modded ones, basically. We're gonna do the fly pl flight planner, and basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say, um, <coughs> you will, we always send away if you get delayed. Uh, we will have a separation of 20 minutes minimum, and uh, auto scheduler is on. Can we? Oh, we need the CEO, uh, COO, and CIO. Okay, well we're gonna hire you then. So we're gonna because I, I don't want to do do that myself. Do 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 that myself. <laughs> Executives. So is there any director? Oh my god. Oh, no, we need applicants. Applicants, please. Thank you. A CFO, a CIO, a COO. I can't remember which one it was. CIO, CO. We're just gonna hire them all. So you're gonna be hired. CIO. You're gonna be hired. And the COO. You're gonna be hired. And I think that, that should be it. CFO, CIO. And COO. Yeah, we have every, every everything in place now. We don't, we don't need to hire any, anyone else. So that means we can now go into the auto scheduler and enable it. And that will set one flight for now. There will be more. There will be more. Don't you guys worry. <laughs> uh, I want to see that flight incoming. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so let's see if we have some more contracts now. Because Goose Wings, CLM... Okay, so basically we're not going to get a lot of the model ones. Maybe because we need bigger aircraft stats. Maybe because we need a better reputation. We're going to go for goose wings. For now, we're going to accept a few of these contracts and we're going to reject them at some point. So we're going to do that. We're going to go with Maple with, uh, with Skylink and we're going to go with CLM. And that should... Yeah, that should bring in more airplanes. That's very good. Because we basically that's what we need now. Money. And of course airplanes coming in. Uh, I actually, I, I said we were going to do this in grass, but you know what, I'm, I'm already sick of the grass, so we're going to upgrade them. <laughs> I want my things to look pretty, okay? It doesn't always have to be as efficient or whatever. That's basically what we're trying to do now with this castle built, I explained in the last episode. That's our first flight, it's coming from... Oh, that's right. I said we were in America, but we were in Paris. That that I was totally wrong. We were we are based in Paris, and this is coming from Madrid, from Spain. So our first flight is coming from Spain, and yeah. But basically, yeah. What I was telling about telling uh, telling about the, the the build, the build is not going to be based on the most effective thing you can do. It's just based on doing something different. I mean, a lot of people are playing this game, a lot of people have posted images, a lot of people have posted videos on the game, but basically everything tries, everyone tries to make it as efficient as possible, and of course that's the goal of the game, to make it as efficient as possible. But what I want to do is I want to do something different, something that, you know, is maybe is not as efficient as, the, well, probably isn't as, as efficient as other people's airports. Um, but at least you have the idea that we're doing something special, something different than all the other ones. Uh, and of course, not all the other ones are the same, but you know, this is this is really a thing that is different. And that's what I want to do. That's why I want to try out this, this different build. And if it doesn't work out, if it doesn't really feel right, then we're going to change it up, of course. And that's in its own, it's, it's, an, all, it's an all another adventure to change up uh, all these things. That's going to be cool too. So. Basically, what we did this episode is we have done the really the beginnings of our airport. Now, we, we will get our first passengers. As you can see, we have our first passengers coming in. We will need to hire some more staff at some point. Probably uh, we can do that right now while I'm talking. But the idea here is to just basically uh, make sure that we get our, field, our airport up and running. And once we have that, then we should be Gucci. We should be good. To start expanding, start making money and start expanding into new uh, new places, new new things to do. So 
first of, first stop is going to be the first uh, sort of real gate over here, sort of the towers gate. Um, so we're gonna make, make make that little tower, see how it looks, see if it fits. Uh, we're going to make some gates in there, we're going to have some medium stands in there, and that's going to be it. But for today, this was what I wanted to achieve, and we've actually done it. We achieved what I wanted to achieve, which is basically start up the airport. Uh, with the staff needed, with the st stands needed, and with all these sections needed. And of course, we're going to beautify this area, and of course, we're going to work on this. And of course, this is going to change, uh, but for now, we have a green... A green... Uh, what, what, would you, what would you call it? A, gre a green saldo. We have a profit, I should say. We, we're making a profit right now. And of course in the night this is going to stop, but we will find a way to actually keep this running. And now that we're making money, we can start working on the shops and the restaurants which we've unlocked. And basically down the money will be rolling in and we can start thinking about bigger, bigger things. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. Let me guys in the comments if you're enjoying the new season. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, then make sure to subscribe to not miss a single episode of this season. As always, I've been Hipbone, you've been yourself, thanks for being awesome, and thanks for watching.